So here, let's first talk about what is what is homoscedasticity. So to test for homoscedasticity, the question we ask is, is the variance constant or is it decreasing or increasing as a function of one or more independent variables? Okay, that's what we want to see. If the variance is constant, then data is homoscedasticity. But if the variance is increasing or decreasing as a function of one or more independent variable, then we have a problem. Then the data is heteroscedasticity. So how does it look like? It looks something like this. So in regression, what we do is we estimate the regression line in such a way that the distance from the regress line and the data points, observed data points, and if we square them and sum it up, that is minimized. That's why we call it OLS, right? Ordinary list of squares regression, right? So here you see these are the distances are called the errors, right? But here you see when the value of independent variable is small, the error is small. But when the value of independent variable is increasing, the errors are getting larger. So here actually we see that there is a problem. The data here is heteroscedastic. Okay. And just to show you again here, so let's say this is homoscedasticity distribution when if we hypothetically assume that here we have y and here we have x values, then if we see the regression line, we see that with increasing values of x, the value of error terms are not increasing here by y, actually I refer to the error terms, okay, error terms of estimated regression model. And they're not increasing, okay, they are constant. Uh, with the with the increasing values of x. Okay, so that's what means that's what is homoscedasticity. But then in heteroscedasticity, what happens is that so if we plot the error terms in y-axis again and we have some independent variables in the x-axis, you will see that with increasing values of x, the distances are increasing. Okay, the error terms are getting larger with increasing values of x. So this means that we have a heteroscedasticity problem in the data.